I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. First of all, before I continue, with, I mean, let me start this all over again. Hey, you guys. Um, welcome back to another episode of A Lazy Girl's Guide. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of beauty and uh, mostly my hair. Okay, I'm going to be doing my hair. This is my attempt at slaying a wig, y'all. I don't wear wigs. I have said it several times on my channel. I'm a braids girl. I'm a natural hair girl. I'm that. Wigs scare me. They scare me. They've scared me for a long time. I tried them here and there. And this one, I'm particularly... I showed you guys in the past of like this particular wig. And I said I wanted to take a few pictures in this wig. Um... And now, I'm gonna do the wig, and I'm gonna try to show y'all how I slay the wig. I'm using my phone because I can't find my stabilizer for my camera, so the quality I just hope is something. So right now I have in my hand the stockings I'm gonna be using. So I'm about to cut this off, put it in my head. But let me show you the wig I'm about to do. Um, it's this blue wig right here. I've had this for a while. It's for a specific look that I'm going for. I'm praying to God it works together when I'm all when it's all said and done. It's a costume wig. This wig is gonna last on my head for about maybe today, tomorrow, and then it's off my head. We're not talking about her no more after that. It was just a fun little thing to do. I like doing color. I've always done color. I've had pink in my hair. I've had teal in my hair. I've had purple in my head. All braids. But nonetheless, I've had them. So actually, I've had a pink wig itself. I've actually had a pink wig that I've worn. Um, but this one, the first blue, baby blue I'm putting in my hair. So I'm going to show you all how, how I'm going to do this. Now, I'm not a wig expert. I do not know how these things work. We are true trying our hand at this so to all my beginners welcome and i hope we can do this together because i'm doing this for the first time too the only thing is that i've realized that i tend to get hair quickly like when i when i try my hands on hair i get them quickly so yeah all right so i'm gonna go ahead and like i said cut the little thing off um I'm not going to probably use all of this. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm doing this. You guys, I just want to keep saying thank you to those who are subscribing to this channel. Like, it means, and I'm going to use Got To Be Glue. It's in the spritz because it's worked for me in the past. It's faster for me. And I just dab it with water when I have to take my hair off without really worrying about a whole lot of damage. And I don't do this often, so I'm not really pressed about having damage. This hair, because it's a costume wig, I didn't spend time plucking, dyeing. I didn't alter nothing. This wig was like 30 bucks or maybe even less. From Target, I mean from Amazon or Target, y'all. From Amazon. I like to just brush all my baby hairs, all my broken hair from the front away from where I want my wig to go. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to pluck it up. If you guys like this video, tell me and I might do a little bit more when it comes to hair. It's just hair videos take so long my guy all right while i'm doing this i also do want to update y'all so the last video i posted that was like vlog style y'all saw me getting ready to go in for like my first day at um at the new con um what the concept store for uh god they just almost hired me and i don't forget that Bloomingdale's. Oh my God. I forgot them, y'all. <laughs> um, y'all saw me like trying to get on the road to go to Bloomingdale's 
to get um to do this job thing and well i went i mean i let me start the story again because i don't know how to talk um i went to bloomingdale's i filled out my paperwork got everything done came home and they were supposed to reach out to me to tell me when official training was about to start and like we are almost down to the end of the week i hadn't heard anything and i have another side gig that i do now this gig is like a very flexible gig i can go in and out i can pick up things when i i can pick up certain work when i want it's kind of a gig type deal um and i needed to make my schedule for them as well as think about blooming deals so i reached out to them and i was like hey i haven't heard anything when is when is um when is the training supposed to start if i get lost in the sauce let me put this thing on my head and see how what we're looking what we're talking it's gonna be a little bit hard telling y'all this story and doing this damn hair all right so i hit up the manager and i said you know when are y'all thinking about starting training and excuse me for looking crazy um and you know they responded they were like oh we're sorry that we haven't reached out to you i guess like they hadn't reached out to anyone really let me pull this back a little bit they hadn't reached out to, they had reached out to some people but not everybody especially if you were like part of the um the operations team, which is what I was part of, they hadn't reached out to those people just yet. Or maybe they've reached out to a few, but not all. I say all that to say this. The, the manager was like, let me link you up. The main general manager was like, let me link you up with the, um, the operations manager. I was like, all right, cool. And I was worried. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get this job. They're not reaching out to me. And I, my schedule is getting all conflicted. And I need to set my schedule and make sure it's good so I can fit them in. But they're not really responding to me the way I want them to respond to me. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was going crazy. So then I finally get a response at like five after reaching out to the general manager. I'm going to spritz it down first. I pulled this back because, like I said, I don't do wigs, but I don't know. Do I want it over my ears and everything? Yeah, I don't do wigs. So if you know how to do wigs and you see me struggling, can you like advise what's the best way to do this? I guess I'll do it over my ears for the sideburns. All right. So he re they reached out back to me by five o'clock and they were like hey sorry we didn't do that we didn't reach out to you i was like okay and then we're like do you want to come in on um they were like do you want to come in on saturday this happened on friday uh friday they asked me to come in on saturday and I, without thinking i just said yes i want to thinking this was about to be the official start of training i did it they think that all right, give me a second. Let me. I don't know how I'm about to tell y'all the story and do all this, but we'll see. So then I went on Saturday. I sat in on the meeting. They told me like a few. I heard a few of the things they were talking about. I was like, oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Fast forward. Okay. Fast forward. After that day, I was left hanging. So I was, remember talking to my dad. I was like, I don't understand. They're not reaching out to me. And I'm really just tired of like always paying attention to these companies and their feelings. They're not really thinking about my schedule and none of that. This is just me venting to my father. I was really upset. And my dad was like, oh, well, you know, sometimes things are for you. And, and I got mad. I was like... You want me to be worried? You want me to be? You want you want me to continue praying to God about like giving me a job? And these jobs are not really like paying my bills for real, for real. Excuse me while I dry this, cause 
Y'all, I know this is not how you do this stuff. I'm just doing this. This, this is a quick little thing I'm about to do and be done with it. Um, I was like, no, these companies, they don't communicate with you. But if I was to do this to them, they would not like it. If I was to be like flaky with them, they would not like it. So I was already turned off that they were being so weird about scheduling and all that. And you all remember in my video, I said the moment somebody looked like they don't know what they're doing, I'm out of there. And it was a good, like, opportunity. Don't get me wrong. I was in the meeting when they were talking like, dang, this is nice. This is nice. But also, this, there was this thing in the back of my heart that felt like I'm not supposed to be doing that anymore. Because when I left Canada Goose... Mind you, I, like I said, I do have a side gig. I am still doing some type of work because the girl got to eat and we're still waiting for some things to pop off. They're not popping off the way we're expecting. All right, so I already was feeling like I'm not supposed to do this because this is the main freaking reason I left Canada Goose in the first place. I just didn't feel like retail was for me anymore. You know, I didn't feel that. I felt like retail was no longer for me anymore, yeah. So, I felt like retail wasn't for me anymore, and I wanted to do something different. I was already having this feeling right here. So, but I still went that day, and the, the training was still very interesting and informative and it was just cool watching them venture into the online space and everything and i was like man this is really freaking nice and i was ready to be part of the team like ready so i left the meeting it took another few days or so i hadn't heard from them and i was still really worried because at this time i'm like damn i really need the funding real quickly even though my body is telling me no I'm gonna try to make this work. And they were a lovely team. Like I met the stylist, they were sweet and everything. But then my man, the main general manager had hit me up. He was like, hey, you know, here is your schedule. Finally, a real schedule. Because so far it was just, I was waiting, 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 waiting. Then the one time I hit them up and they invited me to go for training. Then I was waiting a little bit more and now I finally had a schedule. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. And he was like, does this schedule work for your mind? Without hesitation, without hesitation, I said, yes, it does. Because it did. So I went ahead on my other job site and I moved my schedule around real quick to accommodate them. Okay. But this feeling just was not going away. Here's the reason why the film wasn't going away. Uh, I don't live anywhere close to. I live in Maryland. Virginia is a whole nother state. A whole nother state, boo-boo. A whole nother state. Um, and D.C. is kind of, I feel like D.C. is in the middle because from either Virginia, I don't know. It takes a while to get to D.C. too. But Virginia is far. And when I used to work at Canada Goose, when they would give me early morning shifts, like nine, I would have to wake up at like, like 6.30ish, seven to be out the door by like 7.38 to get on the bus, to get on the train, to get to where I'm going. It was like two train and a bus when I was going to Canada Goose. And it was so hectic. And a lot of the money I was making out there started going towards transportation. And the thing about Canada Goose, though, the money was great. So I didn't feel the pain. But with um, Bloomingdale's, I had to do part-time because, like I said, I just really want to focus on getting stuff off the ground with my dad. I just really want to focus on getting our stuff off the ground. So I was like, I didn't do full time. Even though they did offer it, I couldn't do full time. So the money was half. And even if I'd done full time, it wasn't going to be the same money as Canada Goose. So I was like, okay, I'm fine with whatever. Part time is good for me right now. That's that thing about it. 
I said, Eunice, when you were going to Canada Goose, every morning you were doing it because you had goals and stuff. And that life was a life you were really working on at that time. Like that, I want to be in management. I want to show my worth. I want to prove that I can be part of this, all that. Like I was just trying to prove something to myself. And now I'm not. I have a whole new goal. I'm trying to prove something totally new and different to myself. So I don't feel like going through the hassle of, I don't feel like going through the hassle of getting on the bus, getting on the train, getting on the bus again, getting off the train, and it's about to be expensive, and they're paying me half the money, you know. So when I thought about it, I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, but I still said yes. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. I remember talking to Jeremy and I was just like, you know, I was asking him if he would be able to like give me a ride for the first day because I could stay at his home. He lives closer. He could give me a ride in the morning. And he just said something stupid when I said that. That pissed me off. And he just, he made me mad. He just said something that I was just like, somebody who cares about me should not even be looking to say that based off of like the experiences i'm having and y'all like from sierra leone to now yo it's just been a rough battle with um uh, my own mentals like my own personal mental and i'm a very strong person to say if i say so myself like mentally it gonna take a lot for you to cry like break me like i'm not telling you i'm not gonna cry but mentally it takes a lot for you to like crack me because i'm very persistent if i want some and i'm determined i'm gonna do it i'm just waiting for this to tack out and dry and i really want to tell you all the story and focus on this because i can't do both i'm very mentally strong but since Sierra Leone, it's just been battle after battle after battle after battle after battle with my personal self. And I'm always productive and I wasn't being as productive as I wanted to be. I have this goal, this dream, this vision, and I wasn't really doing the things that I needed to do to meet what I needed to meet. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying to do that. It was just because it was hard for me to focus and get there and get myself started so when he said that knowing everything i had been through i was just mad so then me and my sister had had something going on as well on the side it wasn't big but because i was mad at jeremy when i got in the car with my sister oh i lost it i lost it i was mad yo i was angry i was so angry that sunday before the monday for me to go to work at bloomingdale's and the anxiety of me thinking about okay where am i going to get transportation where am i going to get transportation where am i going to get transportation because i had canceled out jeremy for sure i was just like you know what it's good i don't need it it's fine but i was mad because i just felt like I was giving, 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 and I wasn't receiving from those who were around me. And when that happens, I tend to really react, like really react. And I knew I just been feeling this pressure, feeling this pressure. So I lost it on Sunday. Oh my God, I was so mad. I was so mad. I ended up hurting myself in the process, which is why you see the cuts when I was doing my last video. That's where this came from. My anger was off the roof and nobody could calm me down at that time. But when I finally calmed down and got in touch with my emotions, I realized like I wasn't even, I realized like I wasn't even mad at the people that I was mad at. I was kind of mad at the situation that I was in because I did not want to go back to retail. And it just seemed like that was the only option right now. And I was about to take it and start doing all that. And I was just going to be unhappy. So that was really playing in my head. And then I was thinking about, oh, I'm going to have to start getting like 
up early and I'm used to not making my own schedule, especially with the side job that I have. I can make my own schedule. I'm used to that and I can wake up when I need to start my day and do what I need to do and go about my day. Nobody, I ain't got to answer to nobody except if my manager emails me about something. That's it. I don't have to talk to nobody. If I don't want to talk to nobody, I can go do my job, get out. So then the idea of me going back into retail was really taking a toll on me and I did not I did not take into account that. So for the rest of Sunday, it was just battles and arguments with different people because there was anxiety going on inside me and how I was about to make this work again because I'm no longer there. The like the the girl who had just graduated, who was trying to prove a point, who was trying to, you know, show like she could do certain things and reach certain goals in another person's company was not there. Okay, me proving my work ethic and all that to people, I just did not have it in me anymore. So the more, the more I thought about it, the more I was getting antsy and antsier. The more people were not trying to cooperate with making this thing work for me, the more I got more frustrated because I just like, I want it to work. Knowing good and well, it was not going to be for me. So I remember talking to my dad. I was just like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I felt bad. But I was just at the level of anxiety that I could not handle. I could not handle it. I was at a level of anxiety I could not handle and I'm spazzing out at people I care about. I was just like, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So like 6 a.m. My dad was like, no, sleep on it. Think about it. At 6 a.m. I woke up. I messaged that man a resignation letter because I didn't have, I don't have HR's email. I don't have nothing. Mind you, they had just trained me. I had just told this man I can do this job and I'm going to go do this job. And he going to see me on Monday because they really had work coming through. And I just could not do it. And this is the first time I have said yay to my word and I've kept my word. But yeah, y'all, I, I said, you know what? I quit. I got to think about my mental health. If I'm already acting like this before I even start, I can only imagine what my energy is about to be like when I start, you know? I no need to put up with that. Like... I am a very strong person, but when my body calls and my body says, girl, you need to calm down, I'm going to listen because no, no job is worth my inner peace. No job is worth my inner peace. And it was like, yo, it's blooming freaking nails. Who doesn't want to work for an iconic brand like that? I was looking forward to it too because I was like, Oh, this is about to be lit, especially since I can, if I'm part-time, I can kind of tell them when I can and cannot work. But that idea of getting back in, answering to a manager, co-working with people who I may or may not have little big, little things with, you know, mind you, making friends is all great, but I just know what my experience has been and my type of personality and who I am, I'm the type of person, I just, when I go, I go. And I like things working in the way I like things working in. And I have clashed with people. And that anxiety really got me. So I said this to say this. No, I don't work for Blue and Dills anymore, honestly. But I told you all I was going to. And I was hoping to get you all more updates and all that. I was excited to be training you all the outfits I'll be putting together to go to work. But yo, no, no. I mean, no, I just said no. That's all. I was just like, thank you for the opportunity. But I think I'm going to just hold tight. Eventually, some will leave. And I'll be in the place I need to be. But the way I'm acting right now. It's not for me. I've never seen myself. I've been angry before. My family has seen me angry. And Jeremy has seen me angry. But nobody has seen me angry quite like how angry I was that day. And it was a mix of people not cooperating with me to understand who what was happening with me. And the anxiety of going to this job that I had committed myself to. That nobody asked me to commit myself to, by the way. So, yeah. I just wanted to say, y'all, like... 
no, we're still a free agent. We still don't have any concrete super job, but it's okay. We gonna make it. All right, now I can focus on this hair. After telling that long-winded story, because I can't multitask like I thought I could. All right, so y'all, I am right now just going to dry this. All right, I'm gonna dry this. And then I feel like it's way too down, but I just wanted it to be tack enough to not pull on my edges. So now I feel like it's way too down. My forehead is not that down. I'm gonna just, I think it's tacked enough for good measures. And this, all this is also the reason why I don't like doing wigs. I feel like my edges are already so fragile. Putting this on my hair every day. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Get a little tap down. A little dried up so you can dry it and put it in a little bit. Dry it in a little bit. So now I'm gonna cut this off. So, like I was saying, your mental health is very important. If you're feeling some type of way about something, you feel like it ain't for you, but you feel like you got to do it because the only thing you got to do, I promise you, it is not the only thing you can do. If you don't feel good about it, please do not go force it. Like, that's God, the universe, whatever you believe in, that's them telling you it's not for you. You need to calm down and wait and be patient. Because one thing about me is I'm not patient at all. I want things like that. I want things quick. That's why I'm very self-reliant because I want things quick. Oh, because I want it when I want it. I need it when I need it. And I'm dealing with God and he don't work like that. He moves at his own pace. Yeah. It don't always work for me neither, because I'm just like, I would like things to go now. But we're still on this journey. Um, I have gained, last video we were at 74. Then by the end of the video, if you watched it all the way to the end, you would have seen that I updated it, that we were now at like 79 or 78. Well, girl, we are at 81. We're at 81 today, and today is actually almost the end, almost the end of the um, the month. I think today is the 30th of August, so I'm really grateful that I'm doing this. It ain't paying off right now, but I feel like certain things, it's not for the now, it's for the future, and I just know I want us to be able to I want my family to be able to sh see, like, we really want to do this for people that we care about. We really want to be able to help our community. And I really want us to be able to get the following who believes in the cause that we're trying to embark on, you know? So, whatever it takes, whatever I have to do to get the Wind of Change Foundation out there, or to help my dad get it out there. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. I'm just going to snip it. I'm snipping it. I'm trying to be careful. So it doesn't like... Actually, I'm going to just stop for now right here. I'm going to come back once I get it on my head but that's all i use a stocking cap i go to target my well this one was the one my sister had used but well the one she had bought for use so i usually we will usually go to target we'll buy the brown stockings closest to our skin color instead of the wig caps we'll buy those and then we'll bring it home and we'll put it on our head break it down put it on our head use the the um the holding spray for this and the gel together and we just slap those babies on our head whenever we do our wigs but i'll be back all right 
it is i need my my wig cap um y'all like i said i'm a beginner wigger i can't even say i'm a beginner wig person honestly because this is probably gonna be a long time before another wig come in my head but I, i'm about to put this beautiful picture of my head oh my god the the thing so light i hope it blends in all right so here we go I have done nothing to this wig. Like I said, this is a costume wig, so I'm probably not gonna do nothing. But go ahead and put this on my head so y'all can see. Ooh, I can't wait. I've been dying to do this for so long, okay. Oh my God. So, once again, this is probably, this video gonna be long and all over the place. I don't know y'all the story. Now I'm about to put this wig on. I don't know where to start cutting and where not to. I don't know if my, my thing to fly. Let me just give a second. I am a little bit of a perfectionist, if y'all didn't know. I just need to know if that's the right thing to do. Bring it all the way that down. Because I can always put it where it's supposed to be, like right up here. But I don't feel like that's where it needs to be. I feel like here. Let me see. Is that good for that? Does this look like a good hairline to you? Not that it matters, because by the time y'all see this, I would have been doing what I needed to do with this damn hair. is this given in the back what what are you good for sir these little clips that we put in back here what are these things good for i feel like absolutely not this is summertime this week got me feeling hot already i am hot oh this week got me feeling heat oh, i need my week to bleed so i need to tug i tug to everybody who came to this video thinking this was about to be um an expert telling you how to do these things i'm so sorry i hope you find her because she ain't her so all this talking is because i'm scared to cut this wig ha you didn't think but i am i hate messing up on hair because you can't come back from some hair like this you this is a one time you better get it right girl i'm so nervous i'm so nervous I'm messing up, that's it. The look of trash. I dumped this video because I would never want to embarrass myself and my mama like this. Let me cut this off. I'll get back to y'all. All right, so I removed it from my head, even though I said I'll call y'all once I finish cutting it. I finished cutting it, but as you guys can see, this is made for a lady of a different color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my usual um, powder brush and I'm gonna dust whatever the remnants of concealer, I mean, brown powder that's in there first onto the wig cap, just to get the process of browning going. Um, I did not wanna do anything else just cause this is a really super light hair and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to go in stages. Like I said, I like perfections, which is why, honestly, sometimes I don't really think I'm a really creative person because everything has to be perfect with me. Kind of. I make mistakes, but if I can avoid it, I'm going to avoid it. I mostly want to focus on like the, the part it ain't gonna be like your favorite hairstylist on this here YouTube, but if I can help a friend, if you can watch me fail at it and you've been thinking about trying wigs, I say this is the sign you should do it. Just do it, girl. Don't be scared. Obviously, it's scary. It's... All right, so obviously, some of the brown got on the hat, but it helps with my delusion, of, I mean, my illusion even more. So I'm gonna try and put it back on without removing the snaps. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little thing off my head. It's making it bumpy. Alright. Let that's gone. We shouldn't have any bumps. Alright. You guys, I'm so nervous. Okay. So to do this part, I'm going to have to spray a little bit more, put a little bit more glue and stuff because I'm trying to tack it in now. Like I'm trying to make it be for real, for real. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get my got to be glue 
and I'm going to start the process of doing You're just basically doing the same thing you did for the hat and you just got to be careful to dry it and you don't want it too I'm saying it like I know but I've done this part before I like mine just a little bit dry but not all the way a little tack as you might say and I usually will put the glue all the way like close to right here so you know not a lot just a little And then I'm just gonna take this, close my eyes, and go ahead and take the thing. Remember, all of this is bad for your hair. So please, if you do these things to your hair, my guy, just make sure you take good time to like clean your edges. Please take care of your hair. Take care of your the natural thing God gave you first. Don't let these damn wigs ruin that beautiful hairline you got going. doing it a lot now I'm just gonna take this guy try to put her back in without messing up nobody's so I'm see if she yeah she she do it for me but if she does I'm not a big thing for me right, I'm gonna bring her all the way down first get this little thing on Whew. to all my girls who wear weeds I salute you girl y'all be doing the damn thing i am exhausted already it's not that braids are not difficult it's not that natural hair is not difficult it's just like i can do those i can i can't handle those i can't handle wigs i don't know they're just so much tougher so now i'm just laying it there honestly i want it to lay right on top of the cap I want it to be right on top of the cap because that's what's going to give it the blend that I'm looking for personally. And it's not going to be perfect. It is not because it's, this is not that big. Alright, so. I just need, I don't know. Alright, so I'm just gonna brush it if I start just to see where everybody's falling, feeling, feeling, falling. I'm just gonna pull it out. Bring it back to where it needs to be. This is not gonna be perfect, but it's just for a hair. I mean, for a picture. It is just for a picture. Same thing. Hmm. I did not pluck anything. I did not pluck anything. I knew this was just for show. So I'm gonna just try 
to the right and left. to make baby hairs all right so y'all i have gone ahead and laid the wig down um blended it to the best of my ability so this is my picture and for costume reasons only i'm not focus. i'm trying not to focus on the details because i will sit here and obsess about this until it becomes something i want it to be and i cannot have the time to do all that so now I'm trying to cut baby hairs. Uh, for that, I'm gonna need um, a razor. I'm gonna try to look around the house to see if I can find a razor. So far, I like it. It is mm, gonna photograph very well when I'm when it's all said and done. I hope. If you want to see the picture, you can follow me at Eunice L A V underscore um, E U N I C E L A V underscore. So I'm gonna go do this. I'll be right back. I'm back. I got the razor. All right. So if you guys have watched my videos in the past with hair or anything, you guys will know I do struggle with baby hairs. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to do them. So I'm and I'm not watching any video to teach me right now. So all right. I'm using my phone so notifications keep coming in. So, yeah. Do you have any suggestions for me? Do you have any suggestions for me? And how to do this better? Teach me in the comments. It, this is not about to be the pub. The pub. This is about to be some girl. There is too much going on, type deal. I really hope it's not, but. It down I understand it is not perfect it was never gonna be perfect because in the beginning I confess to y'all I don't know what I'm doing this is a costume wig um, I don't even think I dignified this with a set it up I only washed it put on my head and this is how God has made it turned out my phone is dying so I'm gonna have to catch you all after I have put my makeup on and stuff. But this is what the final look came out to. I'm gonna tie my edges of it for reasons that everybody knows so your edges can be laid down and so it doesn't get, my makeup doesn't get all over this hair. Alright, so I'm gonna catch y'all once I do my makeup and all that so y'all can see the final look because obviously if you're not gonna tie your hair with this one, do the makeup. So I'm gonna do my makeup, um, I'm gonna shoot my reel, I'm gonna show you all the final look after my makeup is done. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. Alright y'all, so I just 
I've done a lot in the hair already, but this was my makeup. I try to match what the hair was giving. <sighs> you guys, beauty is not skincare. I know lots of stuff like that. Makeup, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I know I said my thing is skincare. That's because we're gonna learn together. We're gonna learn together. We're gonna learn how to get our faces together. But the hair turned out great. I have taken a bunch of pictures in it. I made a reel with it. I have done a lot with it. I am ready to retire from this mermaid life. I want to say kudos to all the girls who are out here wearing wigs. This is not easy. Like slaying your own hair, putting it on your head, taking those pictures. It is not an easy life for real. So kudos to y'all for really making an effort to look good and be good. Because I did this one day and I said, I don't think I'm going to be putting this on my head Next time, I think I would just go ahead and do braids instead because I can always find the color braids. Well, hopefully, I can always find the color braids like this and put it in. When I first did the hair, before my makeup set and everything, I did not like the look. I just felt like me and my hair were, were fighting, weren't seeing eye to eye. But, um, but yeah, so this is after look. This is after all the running around and doing it. Um, I had a few difficulties with the flaps, of course. It was really hard. I had a few difficulties kind of like set my baby hair, especially when I wanted to do makeup. It's The makeup is all over this little puppy. Like, she got makeup all over her, okay? And I feel like that's what makes it look decent now because when I first got it, it was blue, blue. It was intense. So, yeah. Um, so, you know, if you ever were thinking about trying wigs, I'll say try them. If they know your thing, honestly, they know your thing because I am ready for this to come off my head and for me to just feel my scalp. And yeah, so I'm going to take this off now. I've taken all the pictures I wanted in this. I'm going to retire her. She might come back out in a few years. I don't know, but I'm going to retire her and then I'm going to wash my hair and like just, I already washed my hair, but because of all the gel and stuff, I'm just going to wash this front part when I take a shower because I'm thinking about doing like not less braids tomorrow. So yeah, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for 81 subscribers. Thank you guys for like the support for all the support. Like I always say, when I started this, it was only supposed to be five. We're at 81. I am grateful. I am thankful. This is not what I thought I would be doing for fun or for like all intention purposes to push my um, charity out there and other business ventures I might want to do. But this is where we're at. And I'm grateful for the 81 people who have followed me. I hope you guys enjoyed the hair videos. I will try to do a little bit more of these so me and you can do hair together and we can learn together on how to put these puppies on our head. <sighs> but girl, if this ain't you, it ain't you. Find what you, do it, and continue on. Until next time, thank you so much for watching The Lazy Girl's Guide. Make sure you follow me on IG if you want to see all the looks. It is B-U-N-I-C-E-L-A-B underscore. That's my handle. So, yeah, thank you guys and have a good night.